Ecological Systems Theory. Hello student, today in this session we will be learning about ecological systems theory, its implication and summary of it. So, at the end of this session you will be able to discuss the each system of ecological systems theory. This theory is given by Yuri Bronfenbrenner 1917 to 2005. He was a Russian American psychologist. His theory explain how everything in a child and the child's environment affects how a child grows and develops. Let us look at this diagram student, ecological system theory. At the center we have a child or an individual followed by different layers of environment. The immediate environment or the layer is microsystem followed by mesosystem, next is exosystem, after that macro and at the large is chronosystem. Microsystem. As we have seen in the earlier picture, the microsystem was the first layer in which the child is in direct contact with the system. Here in this system, parents play a significant role. The way the child interacts with the parents and the way the parents interact with the child has a significant role in the cognitive as well as emotional development. But if we take the case of siblings being in the same microsystem may differ in their behavior because of their biological changes or the genetic factors. Mesosystem. In this layer, the child is surrounded by his family members, peers, relatives and this is a layer which plays a very important role in development of the child. And at this layer, the relationship is bidirectional. What, does, what do we mean by bidirectional? It means that in this layer, the child learns that people can affect them. At the same time, they are also able to affect other people. Next is mesosystem. Immediate after the microsystem, the next layer which comes is mesosystem. Mesosystem is nothing but it has small microsystem which lie in my mesosystem, but the microsystems are interconnected to each other. At this stage, whatever influence the microsystem have with each other is going to influence the behavior of the child. As we have seen in this mesosystem, it shows the interconnections between different microsystem. Let us understand this by an example, there is a connection between parents of a student and the student teachers at school. So, what does it mean? So, whatever relationship or whatever happens between parents and the child that is going to affect child's behavior even at school level. Even whatever happens at school level is going to affect the life of the child at home also. After that, the outer layer is exosystem. Now after mesosystem, so far we discussed about microsystem and then mesosystem and now next comes is exosystem. Exosystem is a system where the child is not directly related to the system, but whatever happens in the exosystem that affects the child. So exosystem includes the places, even the changes which may take place at the workplace of parents or the other social factors. As we have seen in this exosystem, though the child does not play any active role in this system, but still the child gets affected. For example, even the parent's work schedule falls into this layer because the child is able to feel the positive or negative interaction that results from the schedule. For example, we can take like you know if the parent's timing increase of the work right or mother or father gets night shift to work. 
So, indirectly it is going to affect the child. After exosystem, we have a macro system. So, macro system is nothing but it represents the culture of an individual. So, when we are talking about culture, it also includes the beliefs, values, customs of the parents and consciously or unconsciously parents and teacher do impact the child's development through their culture. Even the cultural context also include the socio-economic status of the person and or his family. As we have seen that in macro system, the child's socio-economic status, culture play a very significant role. Let us take an example. The child who is born in a poor socio-economic status has to struggle hard as compared to the child who is born in a sound family. One more example I will give you here is the child who is brought up in a war based country will have a totally different uh, emotional development as compared to the child who is born and brought up in a peace based country. So now this is the outermost layer which is known as chrono system. Chrono system is the outermost layer. It talks about all the transition, the uh, social changes, even the historical changes or any technological changes which takes place at the society at larger, at larger level but still influence the development of the child. We will try to understand this point with the help of an example. So, when we are talking about chrono system, it talks about the changes which takes place uh, in the society, the transition. For example, you know nowadays divorce rate is very high. So, that is some shift which is taking place at society level, but it affects the behavior of the child. Another example I will give you is of the technology. Now, technology has entered into our life, but this technology has entered into our life, it has entered into our society, but society has not successfully implemented any measures to save the child. You must have heard about that blue whale game concept where the child committed suicide. So, that is a bigger chrono system, the technological explosion. So, because of which the child gets affected. So, students we have seen the different layers which play a significant role in child's development. So, what can be the role of teachers and parents that we will see through these implications. First of all, as we have seen that micro system is closest to the child. So, it is a duty of families that they should develop a caring and loving micro systems. Though child has no control over the exosystem, but it comes to the parent that they should become more empowered in their exosystem relations and they have to make sure that it does not negatively affect the child's development. Even schools and teachers should provide stable and long term relationship as well as should provide mentoring wherever it is required. So, let us revise this theory given by Yuri Bronfenbrenner. He talked about the different layers and every layer, each and every layer plays a significant role in the development of the child. As in when the child grows, the relationship at each layer becomes complex. But as a parents and teachers, we have to make sure that we help the child to have a good interaction at each layer. Because if any conflict occurs at one particular layer, it is going to have its ripple effect on the other layers. Thank you.